Okay. Hi, my name is Jillian, and I'm from Westside High School. And I'm going to dedicate my poem to two people. Um, the first one is our teacher sponsor, Sayer, who will not be um, helping us out next year. He's going to be helping his sister in Lincoln. And I'm also going to dedicate this to my best friend, Simon Jones. And this is my poem, A Letter to Cancer. Your hold on my life has been painful. Every time I close my eyes, you are there like a nightmare I can't escape, and you're not even mine. The fear of your calloused grip consumes me, but I would take all of what you do faster than I could blink. I would grip onto your cold, dark being until my knuckles turn white like abnormal blood cells, and all that is around me fades to black. You have made my best friend stand on the precipice between life and death. His class rank dropping like his health. His hair turned white from the four capsules of poison he places on his tongue every night to make you go away, but you keep coming back. His ribs stick out like mountains over a barren wasteland that is his body. His scars like empty watering holes that will never fill again. I never knew what a broken heart felt like until I met you. You've cracked open my heart as if it was the earth and I am left drowning in a flood that he will never endure. I am left nauseous and vomiting, but they are not my side effects, they are his. I feel as though I am being asphyxiated and your hands are around his throat. I feel as if I have been stabbed and my hands are left shaking with the fear of dying, but I am not dying, he is. You are a tumor in my life, a feeling that won't go away, an inconvenience that has ruined everything. Every smile, every breath that I take, every thought that has flown in and out of my head again and again and again had to be redeveloped. Like an adult learning how to walk again after being in a car crash, you are physical therapy for my mind. I am a smiley face balloon brought into the hospital to make him feel better. My smile is cold, but every time he looks at me, I feel as though one day smiling will be easy again. I have to revisit how to talk and be happy and be grateful for the time that I have, but it's not enough. No set time will be enough, but you have not given me a set time because he keeps on fighting you. He finds rain to bring to his desert just to keep the earth a little soft, just to keep one more breath, just to keep one more day, just to live a little longer. He does this to spite you, Cancer. He does this because he loves me, Cancer. He does this because he wants to be with his family. Cancer. He does this because he wants to be alive. And because of you, he has learned how to live. And he will keep fighting because he is the strongest person I know. And because of you, both him and I have flourished, thrived, grown.